Emmanuel Papadakis, the father, his father cut papas, very popular, and many, they call many papas, you know. He was American born for Greek parents, Greek parents. My husband, she was very old fashioned, and the mother said, oh, I wish you married somebody for Greece, you know. Well, better than she came for Chris and some friends, they have relatives here. And my husband visited then Greece and uh, they invite him and say, this is nice man. They told us, my mother-in-law told me it's very nice and for good family. And they got father, say, Angel is good. <laughs> Angel is good. I was in Athens, just I started to work uh, and a publishing company in the office. And I come back, that's it. So you like him? So, which else? <laughs> she was fixed marriage. Mm -hmm. Europe, you know. I have too much respect for my family. You know, I was not wild to adjust the wishes of my family. They asked me, but Different, yeah. Uh -huh. Different life they here. Eh? Fourteen years older than me. She don't look it. The whole family. She looks young, you know. A September 9th be an anniversary when JH fifty years ago. Yeah. I was twenty six. I married him. Almost twenty six. Twenty five something. Twenty six. 14 years different, 42 years married. I met him in the summer, 1957, the end of the summer, August. And uh, I engaged September 9, uh, December 1st I married, February 8th I came here. You know, very fair. It's uh, not easy, it's not easy. But nice, nice man, nice provider. She was good supporter, good father, good husband, uh, everything, everything. I don't recommend, but for me, she was ideal, you know, because I find a man calm, polite, nice, everybody meet him, they love him. Good father, you know. She was tough, she was tough uh, like a Greek, but born over here, but she have the manners and the beliefs like old fashioned, old fashioned, you know. I live in Asining. Uh, I told you, I, I find nice family. They have an apartment. Uh, they decorate my sister-in-law. Bedrooms, uh, living rooms, everything, everything. I cannot find easy life here. Easy life. She was not hard time. She was hard time to adjust this kind of life. She told some cousin of mine, she came here, I make a mistake to marry her because I was so, so depressed. So crying, depressed, you know. It's not easy. It's not easy to go to different country. Uh, December I married, February I came. Yeah, yeah. Hard time cry a lot, I want to come back. Not for my husband, for no language, different habits, no nightlife over here, you know. She was hard time for popular girl over there, going out every night, um, cafe near, I don't know, you don't know Greek life, but it's beautiful life, night life. And I came here, hey, inside. I don't, I was not driving, no language, no nothing, you know. Bring me to my mother-in-law's house and she went to work. And my, my brother-in-law bring me to the apartment the night until she comes. She was not easy, she was not easy, you know. After I, I have the children and I give my life, the whole life to the children, that's all. Thirteen years to have the liquor store. Before she I have uh, worked for diners, she have a diner, you know. And after she opened the liquor store, 
after I start to learn to drive, because my husband opened the store over here and my children went to Greek school in the afternoon and say, if you don't drive, the children, they don't go to the church, they don't go to school. You have to learn. My husband pushed me. My husband he tried to find a house in Yonkers, near the Greek church. And he found a house, and we moved to Yonkers. My in-laws, they was living in Asining. And uh, I met friends from the church. And of course, the children, they went to Greek school. And, and after, my husband had the store here, and I was thinking to help him. And we found a house in Norishel just to come, to be near my husband, near the schools, and near the children, because I don't want to leave the children in Yonkers and I'll be in Norishel, you know. But my husband worked, the time he opened the store, 11 years without vacation, and sent us on vacation. This I tell my children, how hard my husband works to have the things we have now, you know. He worked very, very hard, you know. Push my husband to buy the store from my sister-in-law. I was behind for everything. I'm behind of everything. And always my father say, I wish my daughter, she was the boy of the family, because up then she knew I have the power and the pushing, you know. And we bought a stocks and she bought a stocks and but she worked very hard, not me, my husband. But I was behind. I take care of the housing youngest. I was living there. I shovel, I cut the grass, I take care of the boys, uh, the boy, uh, my son and my daughter. I take care of the grandchildren, you know. I think this is uh, destiny. After I married, I came here, it's destiny. I was the only girl, three brothers, and a father, comfortable life, you know. And if, after I put a newspapers, I uh, accept congratulations because this is the tradition. You put newspapers the day you open your house for your friends to come to, go, to give you the regards, etc. Not presents, just to say congratulations, you know. You, you offered him something chocolate or anything she was in style at this time. People, they came, we don't know them, just to see who uh, Dimitris Fotopoulos sent his only daughter. Everybody, she was shocked. I came to the United States. See? Unbelievable, unbelievable. And I believe in destiny. I lost my husband. <sighs> January 12, 2001, 82 died, but she was very sick, but not mental, she had cancer in the blood and heart condition. She left me comfortable, you know. The only thing I miss she's company because she was very low key and uh, everything she knew the right thing, the right thing. Left me a lot of stocks, you know, uncomfortable. An empty house after you lose your husband, you lost everything, you know. But I'm comfortable this way. I can do anything I wanted, you know. No. But this is life, you have to accept it, go on, you know? I don't know, really. I have to believe we meet again. I hope. They say you meet again, but I hope this is true. I want, you know? Once, I, like a dream and like a wake, I saw my husband after I die and say, I don't want to come with you because I don't want to miss my children. And the answer of my husband, she was, you see them, but they cannot see you. And my son or my daughter said, Ma, you believe this, you think, and you think you saw or you hear from daddy, you know. 
me bistró, me bistró, me decías, and we don't know, you know. I hope so, I hope so, we meet again.